and Death Stranding. We're in chapter episode 11. The Clifford Unger Spectacular. We're in his, one of his biggest, best, baddest nightmares. We're slowly stealthing our way through soldier after soldier. And we got can't pause and save. I don't know where we're at or where we're headed now. Forward, I guess. Oh, we actually got to hunt them down and kill them. Like every other vision. I just thought they would come after me, and I thought it was actually a linear, restrictive level that pushes you along a path, and you would occasionally bump into them. Doesn't appear to be that way, though. One of your gears is gonna keep dropping, though. I'll make it right. Like the jungle. One dead. I think that's two dead. Sometimes they're hard to see. Especially with all the red markers on the unstable terrain and other things on fire. Open fire. I'm still out front though. There we are. Another one dead. One, oh my god. Well, he says he's right in front of us. He's advancing too. Another one dead. Now they're pretty far away. Oh, there they are. Oh, there goes all my shit. That sucks. Don't want that to happen ever again. Eat a crypto vial. Drop this empty blood bag. We don't have any. We got guns. We're so. Oh, they're on a different menu. We have tons of guns. We have more than enough gear to finish this. Maybe even the next encounter after this. Our car, our cargo is too high to hide. But that's all right. It's time to fight anyway. We got. And there's our guy. Open, open fire. Fuck the shooting and move it in. Jesus. Sometimes Sam's got so frustrating. Oh, here he comes, right behind the... Oh, I see him up there. He's dead. Last clip. Well, we actually got two bullets left after this clip. Oh, there he is. Oh my god. That's Clifford too. It was Clifford. He's dead. Get another gun. Eat a crypto vial. Shoot down the rest. 
Another one dead. Where we go now, I don't know. I'm going forward. There's some crypto buyout. Son of a bitch. Here they come already. Where are they? On the other side of this mound. Do we have any blood bags to drop? We do. Oh no, here they come. Ride him up. It went a lot better once I had the advantage. I mean the hiding spot advantage. I'm gonna put this on. I don't know where. We got an empty assault rifle. I guess we can drop that. We're gonna have to pick up another one regardless. So these just go on your your shoulders, huh? Or your hips. Put on the hip. Open fire. I think we're missing something. Oh, it's the empty gun. We have too much gear. Keep your, Keep your eyes peeled. I will take some crypto vials, though. Where are they at? Disengage. I don't see them. They're right, right in front of me, I think. Oh, They're walking up the hill away from me. Well, some of them are. There's one right in front of me. That's Clifford. It would probably be better to just attack him. Shit. Sometimes. You also gotta worry about BB. That's what's pain in the ass, for sure. See if we can sue them. Ride him up. What if they're still moving towards us? Halfway through. Engage on sight. It's a lot better. Oh god, they're so close, I don't see him. He's dead. I can't see him. It's a bad spot to be fighting from. Granite fell in the water. It's weird terrain. Open, open fire. fire. There they are. Moving quick too. Secure the area. There he is. And down he goes. Open, open fire. But they're leaving. Some of them are. There they go, running up the hill. That'd be cool to snipe them from this far. That might be Clifford. I think he went down. Yeah, they're sniping me right back. Me, me. Light him up. 
Open fire. Engage on sight. There's a flare falling down. Oh, they're right by me. Right in front of me. Oh, there they are. Taking fire! I don't see him. Where the fuck is he at? There's two down. This is such a long part of the game. The only thing we've done this long is deliver packages. <laughs> oh my god. Clifford! Clifford went down again. Good show, old man, good show. We don't even need to resupply. We need reinforcements! Get, get back out there! They're across the river. They're far away. They gotta give you time to resupply. <laughs> Wouldn't mind some more blood bags, but that's about it. I think we have one to drop. No, we got plenty of blood bags. Plenty of weapons. Too many. I need you, baby. Auto Taxemia. Only one thing I only one that I know how to handle that. Open fire. If you just went after Clifford, it would probably go a lot faster. We didn't have to do this. It's hard to see though. Let alone here. Disengage! They're retreating now. We're just over half with Lou. It's all my fault, Beefy. I was born to fight. Three quarters of the way. My dear baby. Baby. Yeah, after, after fighting Higgs, there's been a lot of shit. I'm sorry. I think it's cool. I just want you to be happy. My name is Clifford Unger.
I don't think BB needs to know your name. It's all my fault. Might be doing this back so you follow his footsteps, but <coughs> it's not it's not close to being over. It's he's by himself. Nope, there's somebody. Who's been shooting at me? I kind of wanted to save that for Clifford. We'll drop this other one. And equip another assault rifle. Oh, there's Clifford. Down you go. Oh my gosh, somebody else is shooting at me. Just went through a lot of blood bags. One, two, three. Somebody was right in front of us. Clifford should be here somewhere. Oh, there he is. Oh no. Where the fuck is he at? Shotgun. Boom shot, eh? That looks like we got a kill. Cliff defeated. Closer to human than most of the Dooms people. Well, now at least. <whistles> Been trying to. On the last few videos, because I thought, like at chapter nine, I thought the ending's gonna be in the next video, but it's here it is four or three videos later, and it's still not the end. There's not many people left to fight, but there's a lot of story left to, to be explained. Maybe we're getting out of here. I promise. Yes, BB will get out of here. And back to safety. Give me back my baby. Are you clear of hunger? Who are you? Are you the father? And you are not the father. There's a lot of there's a lot of drama left. Even if there's no more fighting. It's like like half of the damn game game was crammed into the last two or three chapters. Like we've did so much of the game without knowing anything about anything. And all of a sudden, from chapter 9 to 11, 
the whole goddamn story got exposed. Are you a Sam Bridges? My bridge to the future. Is it Sam's dad? Is. He is from World War II, which is a long time in the past. Sam could be a 50 year old man by now. Why the fuck would they hug? That makes no sense. It didn't really make sense then. It really didn't make sense them being enemies. That was an obnoxious ass sound. His face was not burned at all. I have to. They're gonna incinerate but his I wife. Under you first. And your family doesn't deserve this. Any of this. Why are you helping me? They catch you. Because you saved my life, sir. Again and again. When the brass sent us into the jaws of hell, it was you that brought us home. Uh, gotta be bring back my baby trophy earned complete episode 11 clip longer interview data for locked in syndrome about the dream catcher and cupus Like they got the reverse shading tattoo of handprints. Kind of makes me want to. Sam, uh, are you okay? I reviewed your logs. It looks like you were caught in a supercell and emerged an instant later on the other side of Ground Zero, not far from Port Nod City. How'd I wind up here, then? Remember, Victor? He found you lying unconscious by the harbor and brought you inside. I think Cliff might be Luce's father. He said, give me back my baby. Impossible. Cliff was born. He gave me this. Cliff's too old, just like I said. To tell us something. He's Sam. Something about the BBs, maybe. About how they were made. didn't feel like he was trying to hurt us. It felt like, like he just wanted to talk. But you said you saw him holding the director captive on the beach. Yeah. They must have some history we don't know about. Them and Bridget. Funny you should say that. I've got something you should see. Found it in the archives while I was digging around. It's a pre-recorded message from the director labeled, If I Don't Come Back.
This message is insurance. In case something happens to me. For Bridges' eyes only. And I sure as hell hope that's who's watching. I got a little present. Present from Emily. Said she'd take me to the beach if I wanted. But I'd need this doll to show me the way. It's a trap. It has to be. But I've decided to play along. You've all been playing along too, haven't you? You know this mask hides more than just my face. Well, Emily's a blank slate too. No past, no record she ever existed. She's a ghost. And the thing about ghosts, I never met Emily in person. Have you? Ever seen her in the flesh, shook her hand, touched her? The original team we sent was divided into two groups. Emily was with the first, Mama and Hartman were with the second. They had no direct contact with her. Yes, Amelie's group was wiped out in Edge North City. Everyone but her. Everyone who could say whether or not she exists. Bullshit. She's real. We touched, all right? She and I both. Well, I've only ever interacted with her hologram. I'm telling you, I've met her in person. Lots of times when I was little. Yes, but on the beach. Here's what the president had to say about her daughter. Emily was born on the beach. There her ka remained, though her ha came to this world. This division of body and soul forced her to spend most of her childhood in the hospital. But though her health was poor, her doom's numbers were off the charts. Her supernatural talents blossomed as she grew older and overcame her limitations. But by the time she was 20, she could travel to and from the beach, body and all. And that's where she started spending all of her time. Now, if you wanted to get in touch with Emily, it was by a hologram or nothing. The president insisted on that. I swore an oath to the president and to America. Far as I was concerned, her word was law. So when she said Amelie was her daughter and the best candidate to succeed her, I believed it. But when the archives were restored, I couldn't resist testing out my access privileges. And that's how I found out. Bridget was diagnosed with uterine cancer in her 20s and couldn't have children. You see, it doesn't add up, does it? There's no way Emily could be Bridget's biological daughter. So where'd she come from? Who is she? Is she even real? How can we be sure that Emily is an extinction entity when we don't even know if Emily is Emily? Hell, for all I know, the EE -E theory might be bullshit. But if it's not, if she's the cause of the Death Stranding, then I have to accept her invitation. I've loaded my gun with hermetic rounds. Sam's blood. It connects my gun to her, to me, to him, all of us means I should be able to take it with me to the beach. I'm going to stop what she started by stopping her. One last confession. I'm just a man. No powers. Nothing special. Not Don't have dooms. I can't repatriate like Sam either. Don't know the first thing about dying. I had never tried it. I've been to hell.
Every single battlefield was hell. But no matter how terrible it got, I never died. Because all I ever did was run from death. Well, I gotta go. She's calling for me. Bridges, don't let me down. Episode 12, Bridges. I think this is it. And it's mostly After just he recorded cut this, scenes. the director <coughs> jumped to the beach. Or rather, Amelie summoned him there. He had a gun to Bridget when I saw him. Then Cliff showed up, took him away. I thought he went to the beach to confront Amelie. Yeah, she was there too. She was the one who got me out. <sighs> and you didn't see Bridget so and Amelie to together. I can't believe I didn't see it sooner. It was Amelie who... See, Bridget was sick with cancer and she was gonna die. And so she created this fake daughter so she could she could become her daughter and run America from the beach as Amelie. It won't be long before it's completely unusable. Swallow our hard work was for nothing. Let me finish what I was saying, sir. I'll tell him. Fraja, you look like shit. You should be resting. I know. I need to tell you something. I had a little chat with Higgs back on the beach didn't take much to make him talk. He say why he betrayed you? He said it was part of her plan. What? She was their leader. The terrorist void outs, the whole extinction agenda, Amelie was behind it all. And I like how she was. I know you don't want to believe it, but it lines up with what Die Hard Man said. He's turned on me after he met Amelie. At first, he was looking to expand his territory, and I had a power he could use. At least, that's how he ended up working with me. He was no terrorist. He just wanted to reach more people. But then she shows up with abilities that put mine to shame. Hell, she could even control BTs. So Higgs decides to go with her. And that's when she turned him into her agent of extinction. Amelie gave Higgs his power? Yep. She made him her homo demons. What about Bridget? You could have tell me what she was doing on the beach. You got an answer for that, too? I know it's a lot to swallow. But he said himself that Amelie is an extinction entity. I looked inside his pod, and there was no BB in there. Take a good look at what was. It's the same doll Die Hard Man had. This is their bridge baby. There's this idea that the terrorists brought back BB Tech and Bridges was just following suit. It's garbage. Their methods and yours are completely different. Your BB links you to the world of the dead. Their doll links them to Amelie in her beach. You know who else had dolls like this? Cliff. He was carrying them on the battlefields. Cliff, Higgs, the director, all three of them were drawn in and controlled by this extinction entity. And who is this EE -E really? Is it Rigid? Is it Amelie? All I can say is that the oh, answers are on the beach. What she wants and why. If we get to the bottom of that, then maybe we can still avert the last stranding. You've got to find her, Sam. Whoever she really is. Earlier they were di they're, they're trying to stop him with life and death. And now they want him to go. Hurry back east. And we've got to go even farther east to the earlier part of the game. Beginning part. It's about gonna be nostalgic and beginning part almost makes me want to start like a fresh game or something. So we did get Sam, the, the octopus and the giant this short. down there behind we us. We have a job for you. Fragile's condition is deteriorating. If she slips into a coma, there's a chance her soul might become stranded on the beach. She needs cryptobiotes fast. 
Luckily for us, Fragile Express keeps a stockpile there in Port Nord City. So we'd like you to grab some for us while you're in the area. All the details are on the terminal upstairs. These missions are Please, reminiscent of the critical. early game missions as well. Simple pickup through safe territory. But on the bottom shelf back there, we got the giant and the squids. Right there. And the people. So the people were the people and the octopus were there. Then the giant and the squids came. But it can't be much there's no enemies left. There's no room on any shelves. Simple as pick up a box of crypto vials and take it in to the first area of the game. I think. <clears throat> We can't even customize a backpack. Earlier I was talking about how they constantly have BB visions. I was remembering my first playthroughs. Because now you see, it seems like every time we leave a safe house. Second time they've mentioned six. When they talk about the extinction level event, they said the six. There's candles on the birthday cake, they said the six. Sam, check the terminal for available orders. Orders a la Sam. I think we're good with gear and everything. Look how far it is, all the way to the beginning area. Of course, we're going to take a long-range strike. 150,000 likes I have now. Don't forget, that container isn't airtight. You can't afford to submerge it, even partially. No water. That's why it's such a simple mission. Because we can't get it wet. There was a trick to that. I don't remember what it was. Uh, I think it was have it in the cargo container of your bike or something like that. Or in a, in a truck, that way it can't get wet. We can splash it a little bit though. We can't, there must be no storage on this bike. Not letting us access it. Still can't do anything with the storage, bike storage. Uh, it all comes back around in the end. Have a pleasant journey. Hello. Hello. We've been getting near constant timefall in this region. Now the whole for a area, while. the whole world storms. As a result, everything you've built for us out here has been completely destroyed. The good news is we managed to recover all cargo stored on site and transferred it to the capital, Nod City Distro Center. As for the not so good news, chiral printers are currently unusable due to the network instability. Given the circumstances, you might want to consider turning to your fellow porters for assistance. But I'll leave that up to you, Sam. I'm sure you'll come through for us. You always do. I think that's the truth. Where'd the road go? They're saying there's a road on the map. I would like to get on it, please. It's wide enough to be a road. Now we're off the road again. Come on now. Whoa. 
Once we find the road, it's game over for these clowns. Ain't no stopping Sam. Said it can't get wet, but yet we're in the rain. You keep something out in the rain long enough, it's gonna get wet. Just as, just as if it was submerged. And we're gonna be out in this rain for hours. It's just those guys. Those guys aren't a threat. Not especially on a bike. It's so dark though, it's so dark. Where'd the road go? The deck's going crazy. Oh wow, that one we almost bumped into. Last one. Awesome. Oh no. Like, I want this bike, dude. We got a shot anti GT here, guys. What you got? Oh, we need to get down on these building roofs to fight them. And I want a bike. Oh wow. Oh you bastard. You got tons of weapons to use, oh no. Damn, don't be an idiot, dude. Be easy, it'll be. We're not gonna, we're not gonna run all the way back to the bike because if they're pushing us forward, so we might as well stay going forward. But I want a bike. another one. There's a blood bag we probably don't need. <laughs> On to the next building. Not getting up there. You damn sure can't stay down here though. I'm not worried about losing this battle at all. I just want the bike. That's my biggest concern. I know it's gonna be an easy win. Get up. There he is. I guess we'll go with this anti VC here, yeah. Oh shit. God damn it. Oh, look, there's a person holding a blood bag. You don't need a blood bag, though. Man, 
Next one. Half hell. Try out some grenades. Hopefully he comes back. Package is damaged. I'm not impressed with the grenade. He's almost dead. He left. What a major inconvenience. Do you have some container repair spray? We don't. And we got no bike. We gotta find a build a time fall shelter. Like, we really do. We don't have any PCCs. We gotta find a time fall shelter. But it's not looking good. Drop this armor plate too. Ladder, a bridge, a gener a post box. There's a station up here. Thank God. Our battery's dying too. The ladder's full also. Lou's happy now because we're running. They should just have container repair spray spraying you down in this entrance. That would be awesome. They should have a little forethought sometimes. We can't recycle. All we can do is go in our room. Well, we have to go in our room. At the, at the minimum. We have to get some can container repair spray. They don't have any in here. Our, our container's gonna get ruined. Take the level one PCCs, cause we gotta make a time fall shelter. That's gonna have to be our makeshift solution here. Gotta be resourceful for this one. We can't pee here. All right, that's fine. What I really wanted to do was drop the crypto bios here. <laughs> Out and build that time fall shelter. We got a generator here. We need a time fall shelter. We can't build anything. I don't know how we're going to deliver this package then. We need some container repair spray. Maybe we'll find it. I think all the time fall shelters were destroyed. Can't even get a vehicle, man. He sees the head. It's a safe house. 
Oh, fuck, no. There's like a red one too, and it's the safe house isn't finished. Oh my god. The signs are damn. I can't believe we made it through that. Ooh. The indestructible VTs. I don't remember them. In my first playthrough. Oh, we're coming up on out of a bit. We're still in BT territory. Yeah, this is like the first area of the game. The package must have just enough durability to run home, run to, from one location to the next. Now it's gonna stop raining over oh, mule territory. It needs to stop raining. Oh, they're on to me, dude. A bunch of... Oh, shit. Get up, get up, get up. Here's our little shortcut. Oh my god, this is where the camp's at. Oh fuck. The, the next the next hill is our shortcut. There's the time fall shelter. Get up, Sam. What? By the time falls shelter. I don't have time for this. This is at our second location. Can't still can't get any car container repair spray. Well, I'm not gonna make that same wrong turn. The second hill was where our shortcut is. We, we did it say we could journey. use the garage or the hangar? Yeah. Awesome, this will make things a lot better. All trucks though, take a long range truck I guess. There's a time fall shelter. Get out and use it. Oh, this is a BT area too. God damn. I wonder if we can take this in the water. Fast as we can to the BT area, like we did the first time. 
Or we might just use a blank. He decided not to. Can we rest? Can we save? Of course not. Well, we got we got enough time to see if we can get through the BT area. Oh shit! Look at that. Wicked. Oh no. It's on you. Too far away. We're gonna get the bike back too. See ya! I'm gonna head up to the charging station here. Catch a quick charge. I'm gonna completely avoid the mule camp this time. <clears throat> meant to be there. I think I'm feeling confident this time. What really did it for us was running right into the mule camp. That was ridiculous. <coughs> oh shit. We're just about past it. And now we can see our shortcut. Up at this this cliff at the end of there. Generator, we're gonna need the charge. There's also more BBT territories here, especially by our shortcut right around the front of it. We're at the home stretch now, though. We're out of time. We usually climb over that mountain as a shortcut to the station. It's been so long, though. Big air. Yeah, right up front around here was BT territory for the longest time. We, uh, we got it in our sights now. Here's BT territory. Oh, it's, it's a, a boss BT, too. And I'm just gonna run it. Running it back, y'all. Uh, Spinny Boy Super playing Death Stranding. Thanks for watching. <clears throat>